The Mercedes-Benz S-Class is a deeply luxurious sedan. Now there's the EQS 580, the first dedicated electric vehicle from the three-pointed star folks. Designed from the ground up to be an EV, think of it as a fully electric S-Class. It's manufactured using a carbon-neutral process in a solar-powered factory. I'm auto specialist Tom Volk for the Seattle International Auto Show, and this is one of the most impressive vehicles I've driven in a while. As tested, well-equipped, before any federal or state tax credits, this one retails for about 126 grand. Now, that's a lot of money, but the EQS is so deep, it's kind of a bargain. Let's start with this crowd pleaser. Dubbed the hyperscreen, Mercedes calls it a 56-incher, but clever folks will see that it's three screens under one piece of glass. People entering this space practically gasp. You'd half expect to see Jean-Luc Picard behind the wheel. And then there's the ambient lighting that looks great anytime. At night, it dials the wow factor up to 11. It's everywhere, and I do mean everywhere. Like nearly all EVs, the EQS is built on a skateboard platform. This one has a 400-volt architecture. It will underpin future Mercedes electrics like the upcoming EQS SUV and the EQE. The lithium-ion pack with low cobalt cathodes delivers 108 kilowatt hours of energy. Total power from the two motors is 516 horsepower and 631 pound-feet of torque. The dual motor EQS does the zero to 60 dash in about four seconds, pretty darn quick. But beyond numbers, EVs have that deep, rich torque, so it's incredibly satisfying off the line. There's an acceleration tone that seeps into the cabin, nothing overbearing, very classy, very Mercedes. Uh, my microphones just don't pick it up very well. The structure that encases and protects the battery in case of collision is ultra strong and gives the EQS a vault-like quality, silent as one too. EVs by their very nature are extremely quiet. The EQS takes it to a completely different level. And bumps, bumps are pretty much heard, but not felt. The 580 has 10 degree rear wheel steering and the turning radius is otherworldly for a large luxury sedan, just under 36 feet. That's similar to a subcompact car. The ride quality of the EQS is so smooth, it's hard to describe. I will go with cliches, buttery, creamy, velvety, and on top of that, put a layer of Teflon and yet, it's never sloppy. It's really pretty control. The infrastructure for electric vehicles is growing. At Electrify America stations, EQS supports plug and charge. The system simply recognizes the car and bills you automatically. Talk about luxury. It's nice not having to fumble with an app. Sometimes these stations can be a little wonky. The top charge rate of the EQS is 200 kilowatts, so using the right stations under ideal conditions, you can add some 170 miles in about 15 minutes. At home, using 240 level two, it'll charge overnight. Not only does this look like the Starship Enterprise, there are good looking eco-friendly materials, synthetic leather on the dash and doors, plus carpet woven from recycled yarns. The walnut with aluminum inlay is called yacht design. <laughs> Any questions why? The leather seats seem infinitely adjustable. Heated and vented, they even offer up a decent massage. The back seat is spacious enough for three full-sized adults and they'll be comfortable. It can be ordered with heated and vented seats. And not only is the EQS luxurious, it's a practical hatchback. With the seats down, there's a massive 66 cubic feet of cargo space. Not only is the EQS sumptuous, it's the most aerodynamic production vehicle in the world with a 0.20 coefficient of drag. Stop by your local Mercedes-Benz showroom to check out the EQS and the future of luxury. For the Seattle International Auto Show, I'm Tom Volk.